I'm at, still at the NOC. Uh, I just checked into my room. There's a lot of things you have to do while you're at the NOC. Number one, you got to uh, register for, if you haven't already done so, your permit to go into the Smokies. They will print it out for you here. They gave me some help. It's all taken care of. Uh, I resupplied at the general store. I got my laundry done. I just went to the community center and uh, took a bath. I'm at what they call base camp. Base camp is the least expensive option here. Uh, it's $40. You can put two people in a room. I'm in a room by myself. Prefer it that way, to be honest with you. The room I'm in is called Mesa. Now, you have to realize it's a hike just to get up here. This is near the top almost the very top way down there is the highway and that's where i was talking to you earlier uh or in the last video the mesa camp let me give you an idea what to expect well from base camp and all of the cabins look that way you got a secure door that's nice that's a community door there are three rooms in here one two three This is my room. It's approximately a seven foot by eight foot bunk room. And that's all it's in here. Uh, there is an air conditioner, there is an outlet. So you can recharge things. They do not provide linens. They do not provide towels. So if you want to take a shower in the community room like I did, you gotta basically rent a towel for three dollars plus tax at the general store. Get that before you get up here and realize it. You're gonna want that towel, trust me. Uh, the showers were nice, the community bath area was, was uh, okay. It had about five stalls for showers, and it had about uh, uh, three or four stalls for bathrooms, uh, and two or three sinks. So it worked out fine. Uh, you just have to be prepared for it. This is a Spartan existence, but it's a far cry from a wet tent in uh, 15 degree weather, okay? The next morning, I left the knock. It's about a 3,000 foot climb from the NOC up to the top of that first mountain. So you spend all day going up. I went uh, 11 miles that day and camped just on the far side of that mountain. Do you think they Hello. <laughs> oh, it's dripping down my back now. That's cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Woo! Good doing, Spunky. Next. I'm next. Go yeah. do it. I have some peanut butter to finish, though. That is pretty freaking far, actually. I believe that's the <laughs> NOC. And that's, yeah. that's where we started this morning. And from up here, it just looks like a wrinkle in the mountain. Perfectly executed bear bag. I know. <laughs> now it's sliding this way. Somewhere up there is bliss, and I gotta find it. Ah. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see anybody coming. How are you? How are you? Good. Be safe. You too. That's a tricky one down there. Yeah. Yeah, look at
This had cable gap shelter. This is uh, probably one of the oldest. I could be wrong. It's very small. You know, it might sleep five, six. Uh, the floor's not level. The, uh, the dates on some of these carvings and signatures are pretty old. There's 91, so that's what, 30 years. There's another one over here I saw that said 1969. So I'm pretty sure it's one of the oldest ones. It's actually made out of logs. Pretty cool looking though. There's James. James, you still live, buddy. 1969. I don't think I'm gonna stay in here tonight. Uh, turns out they don't, this is, this is the cable gap shelter. They don't have cable. So I'm pitching a tent. Gets four stars in my book. Just about had my tent set up when a whole bunch of wind came in and rearranged everything for me. Pulling the ground sheet right out from under my tent. Uh, storms were predicted for tonight. Although I have yet to sleep in a shelter this entire trip and have preferred my tent, I may just have to shift to the good old cable gap Holiday Inn over there. Whether I like it or not, floor is not level. I'm told the roof leaks. I don't know how much better it'll be, but at least I won't have to deal with that in the morning. I mean, if it's wet, that's a pain. Just made it to the Fontana Dam crossing. Uh, waiting on a shuttle. Take me to the Fontana Dam Lodge or the Fontana Lodge, and I'm going to take a zero there. Okay, I'm at the Fontana Dam Lodge right now. Uh, you can't check in till four o'clock. You can't get your room till four o'clock. I got here at noon, so I spent the last couple hours, had lunch at the restaurant, had a couple of beers. They get hand, somebody handed me a beer as I walked into the uh, uh, lobby to check in. Some somebody giving out trail magic, so that was awesome. Um, and right now I'm doing my laundry and I'm getting all that taken care of before the four o'clock hour. Tomorrow I'll be taking a zero. So I'm staying here for, for a full day and I'll stay again tomorrow night. I'll get back on the uh, trail Sunday morning. It's Friday night right now, Friday afternoon right now. Uh, but I figured since I gave you a, a tour of the laundry room at the knock, I might as well give you a tour of the laundry room here at Fontana Lodge. The general store is right down the hallway here. And uh, this is the laundry room. Again, it's not much different than the last one. You got four washers and four dryers. Um, and just like the last one, I had to change to get the clothes I was hiking in this morning clean. So fortunately, I scoped it out. There are no cameras here and there's hardly a soul in sight. Uh, not everybody stays at the Fontana uh, Dam Lodge. They stay at the, the what they call the Fontana Hilton, which is really just a shelter. But it's a big shelter. It's got hot showers. It's it sleep 30 people, so it's really big and certainly worth it. But I, uh, um, I figured I'd go ahead and get my laundry done here and then get, you know, take a day off to, to just rest for tomorrow. Uh, I'll update you in a little bit about everything I've done for the last couple of days. I'm at mile 164 now, and um, so far things are going really good. We're expecting big rain tomorrow, which is perfect because I'll be in a hotel room. And then Sunday it should clear back up, and I'll be back on the trail. My son is so sweet. He, uh, he drew me a picture. He wrote me a, a letter. Wrote me, drew me a picture to... Just make me happy on my hike. That's a picture of a rocket ship. That's sweet. Thank you, Logan. You're awesome. <coughs> the Fontana Dam Shelter. Sleeps about 30 people, they say. I'm not quite sure, but... Center for Fontana Dam. The trail goes right over the dam. The 
This is called yellow blazing. <laughs> I didn't know where it was. I'm glad they checked it. It looks like it's a small fisher's place. Every other year. What if they ever have a too. Anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! Take two. <laughs> oh my god, got it. Boy, I really, they say they're stuffed. They haven't emptied it since last year. Why? <laughs> Do they like not actually care? Finally got to the top of, I don't know what it's called, should take, should take, should talk, something. Tower. Uh, big climb out of Fontana Dam, but uh, boy, the view up here today is spectacular. 360 degrees. I'll try and show it to you. That's the dam way down there where I started this morning. It's like the poppy fields in Wizard of Oz. Good morning. I'm at Molly Ridge Shelter. Uh, hiked about 13 miles yesterday to get here from Fontana Dam. Um, I won't say it's a crowded shelter. There's probably about a dozen tents and a dozen people in the shelter itself. Um, but uh, plenty of space, a lot of room out here, so it's very easy to find a tent spot. Uh, very windy last night, very cold last night. I say very cold, probably in the low 40s. Um, but the wind was incredible, it still is. And right now, uh, my tent is just blowing all over the place, but uh, I've just finished packing up. I haven't even left my tent yet. Um, but that's kind of how it goes on cold mornings. You don't even get out of your tent until you're completely packed. Uh, so my pack is ready. And now all I gotta do is get out of the tent, put my, break my tent down, put that onto the outside of the pack. My bear bag, my food bag is still hanging in the tree over there. And I'll, uh, I'll get that down, grab a, an Adkins bar or something for breakfast and get on the road. I'm trying to make about 15 miles a day through the Smokies. I entered the Smokies yesterday morning. It's about 75 miles. I want to do it in five days. Um, the way the shelters are spaced out, uh, looks like I'll have to do a 16 mile day and a 20 mile day on uh, Thursday and Friday, but I should be able to get out, or Wednesday and Thursday, but I should be able to get through here in five days. That's the goal. Um, wish me luck. Like just before the center of I think I was looking at that yeah. one just before yeah. 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 To get the I'm trying to hit another 13. Yeah. Is that what it is to that one? Very specific distance and then call it a day. Um, to, I think they're going to come here tomorrow. Uh, would be my, my thinking. Awesome. You guys about though. So they have their... Okay, I just got in my tent. It's Monday night the 12th. Um, I'm at Derek Knob Shelter tried to do another six miles, uh, planned to do another six miles to get to the next shelter, but it was such a rocky and difficult climb to get here. It was a 12 mile day. Um, I couldn't go any further. I had to, I had to call it. So um, tomorrow I'll do about seven miles. That'll put me within reach of Clingman's Dome. Clingman's Dome is the largest uh, mountain on, it's the highest elevation on the entire Appalachian Trail. Uh, and it's also the 200 mile mark. So I will get that taken care of the following morning on Wednesday. Uh, hopefully it won't rain. Hopefully we'll have good weather, but the point is uh, uh, it's another milestone. And I am currently zigzagging all over the trail 
takes you back and forth between North Carolina and Tennessee for a couple of hundred miles. And um, so uh, once I get through that, once I leave North Carolina officially for the last time, I'll soon be in Virginia. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that's it for now. Have a good one.